Hey everyone, James Cratch here with Dan Duggan, Phoenix, Arizona, Arizona Biltmore, NFL annual meeting, owner meetings in the books, the billionaires have gone home, <laughs> the millionaires are going to dinner. What are you talking dinner. about? I'm still here. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, this is true. And uh, we're still here. Uh, obviously, Ben McAdoo, a uh, day early, met with the media on uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, the, I think the biggest thing he said, potentially, came right near the end of his 50-minute session, where he basically, we, as we interpreted it, said that he didn't approve of the boat trip from back in January. And when we you explained to him that it's going to be interpreted what you're saying, Ben, as the boat trip, as a denouncement of the boat trip, Ben basically said, I don't care what you guys interpret, which leads me to believe that we had it right. right. Ben was talking about the boat trip. So I guess your off day isn't your off day anymore. Well, that's what I think is the most interesting thing, because you go back to January, whatever day that was, January 3rd, maybe when it broke, and he said, he was very adamant, their off days are off day, like he didn't even want to talk about the topic, and he said, literally, the, their off days are off day, what they do, you know, it's not my concern, and all of a sudden today, it's, uh, he, he, you know, he kind of comes up with new sayings all the time, this one, he wants guys to say no to things outside the building that are going to distract them, and clearly, again, like, you know, we didn't have to be a mind reader to get what something might be you want to say no to. How about going down to Miami with Justin Bieber six days before a playoff game and partying all night? Nice. So, uh, yeah, that was clearly what he was willing to let us interpret because I gave him the chance to say, oh, no, I'm not talking about that. And he said, you know, kind of take it how you will. And that's obviously how we're all going to take it. What I took this into was, I, look, I understand to some extent when, when this first happened, defending them, you know, he's got a lot bigger fish and fry at that point. Right. Playoff game coming up, you know, kind of a male sale, you know, big you know, media circus. Right. But he could have come out on the Monday baggy day after they lost to the Packers and said the same thing right. and he did and I just wonder like what, from the Giants perspective you've given Boatgate new life <laughs> like Brandon Marshall when he signed he said in good morning football if I was there I don't think the boat would have happened that kind of gave it a little but like it's like we took the paddles to Boatgate today which means when Odell and Sterling Shepard and Roger Lewis are at OTAs and are available not only does Odell have to, have to answer questions about the hole in the wall the boat's back on the docket too, so I thought it was really interesting with Macu. Maybe a sign that look. I mean, they were 11 five last year, but there were some points where you kind of wondered like where the discipline was. You know, you had guys running their mouth after the game about the referees, about their targets. Uh, obviously, Victor Cruz was on the boat; he's not there anymore. But you know, Eric Flowers, you know, having issues with the media. <laughs> I'm saying there was a lot of things that happened with the Giants last year that were kind of you know little brush fires that maybe didn't necessarily happen in the Tom Coughlin years necessarily. And I don't think it's a knock on Ben. I just think that maybe today he was trying to reassert that maybe they want to get away from the extracurricular stuff knowing what the expectations would be this year. Right, although then again he started another brush fire and now we're all going to write about this for a so. week. So. <laughs> anyway, that's it for us here on the boat. We'll have a little bit more to talk about later on. But it's March 28th. The NFL, the free agency's over. I mean, the NFL season basically is in full steam ahead to 2017th year, and we're still talking about Miami. Trey Songs is getting so much free publicity off of this. We'll see you later.